Hello everybody, it is the Doctor again. We are continuing to play Star Trek Online, free to play on our tactical character. We are Lieutenant Commander 18, and we are finishing up the Davidian storyline here with Knight of the Comet. We've determined that the Davidians are using the trialic energy of Driffin's Comet to ease their entry into our phase variants. That is the cause of all the incidents in the neutral zone, but it's worse than that. It's possible that, given the amount of trialic and temporal energy in that comet, that the Davidians will be able to destabilize the area of space surrounding the comet enough that they will pull it and everything into their phase variants. In essence, they're trying to steal an entire sector. The resulting effects to the surrounding space would make the destruction of Romulus look like the popping of a party favor. The only thing we can do to stop it is to destroy the comet before the Davidians can use it. It's not enough to do it in the present, because the Davidians will still have access in the 23rd century when the comet moves past their Zana station. We have to destroy it there. You'll need your ship this time, so you can't use the Davidian portal on the station. I can help you get to the past, but you'll need to follow my instructions precisely. Go to the Bepi-113 system, and we will get some cool stuff here. The Federation Type 3 phaser rifle, which I'm extremely excited about and which I'm going to continue to use in our missioning even though it's going to be mark 4 i might replay it to get the next level up because honestly this is a sweet weapon you will see okay go to beppy here we are at beppy 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 night of the comet Incoming hail, Captain. Do you want to put it on the main view screen? Sure. You should feel privileged, Rami Summers. Very few people ever get to see this system. My organization has gone to a lot of trouble to keep it off the navigational charts. Their star is ideal for what starship pilots call a slingshot. Section 31 uses it from time to time to deal with problems that take a more creative approach to solve. Your best chance of getting back to the point in time where you need it to be is to use the star's gravity to accelerate your ship to such a high speed that you will be able to access the time continuum. I've taken the liberty of having the light speed breakaway calculations added to your ship's database. You will need to hit a series of points as you move around the star. After you make your approach, you should see a navigational beacon. Aim for it, and you will have the correct trajectory for the slingshot. This is a tricky maneuver. If you don't hit each point in the correct order and time, it won't work. I hope your helm officer is up to the task. One more thing before you start. I also added a hollow emitter to your vessel. You will appear to be a Klingon D7 with the appropriate access codes for the time period but still have access to all of the 25th century firepower you will need to deal with the comet. Don't alter the timeline any more than you have to. Destroy the comet and stop the Davidians, but other than that, try to stay out of trouble. I wish you luck, but I have a feeling you wouldn't think I was being sincere. We're ready to engage the holometer and start our run around the star. Now I'm a Klingon D7, but I still have all my ship powers, same as before. I just look like a D7, which is really cool. The old classic Klingon ship right there. All right, so the best way to do these points is to not move up or down, but just go left or right. By using the keypad, the keys on your, um, on your keyboard. I actually need to go down just a little bit because I accidentally started going up and down at the very beginning, which I shouldn't have done, and now I'm going to miss it. Oh, I'm doing terrible. Okay, anyway, I got it. Uh, that was bad. <laughs> that, that was a bad way to do it. Don't do it the way I did it. Do it a better way. That was terrible. Yes, Captain, based on the decay of elements in the system, we've arrived approximately 150 years in the past, somewhere around the Earth year 2265. Incoming hail from a Constitution-class starship identifying itself as the USS Reuben James, putting it on screen. I love how he's got the classic Toss uniform. He's from this century. However, he's got the Enterprise D bridge. Yeah, I think they need to fix that. That is not a Constitution bridge. Attention unidentified ship. I am Commodore Jacob Ross in command of the USS Reuben James. We have been searching for a Klingon vessel reported to have attacked a colony in the Gleese system. You fit the description of the ship we are looking for. Unless you can prove that you are not, we will take immediate action. Captain, the Reuben James has closed the channel. They are not responding to hells and weapons are charging. We cannot seriously damage Commodore Ross's ship without risking damage to the timeline. 
But we must defend ourselves and complete our mission. Recommend we fight to disable. So I've got to disable the Reuben James. Well, I disabled him. That's for sure. That didn't take long. There's the comet over there. To any ships in range, please. We need help. I don't even know what these things are, but they're all over the station. They're killing people. Please, you have to help us. Captain, the comet approaching the station, its trialic energy is making it easier for the Davidians to manifest. The people on that station don't have any way to fight them. We will have to help or they will all die. Okay, let's go help. Save the day, as per usual. Multiple Davidian life signs, and we need to kill them all, basically. So now we're on Drazana, and we can kill all Nice. Killed them all. One of six. Sir, I don't think anyone here appreciate the Davidians crashing their party. I'm detecting weapons fire, broken glass, and signs of struggle. It's a bar fight. And we'll need to quell it if we want any chance at stopping the Davidians. The temporal prime directive is in effect. Recommend we set all weapons to stun. Stop the bar fight. That's literally our mission right now. Stop the bar fight. Everybody's fighting the Davidians. I love it. They don't even know what they are, but they're fighting them. And I love the Toss original Klingons in this. They've got the original Klingons. Sans forehead. Rigid forehead. It's the old Klingons. I love it. The attention to detail in these missions is really good. Things like that, where you know the uh, old uh, old Klingons with the non-rigid forehead and everything—it's all that good stuff. It's just lovely. So here's one of those Klingons right there. I think it is so cool. Okay, we broke up that bar fight, but I know we got to go back over here because now another group has spawned back where we were. Yep. And Adelon, they're pretty tough. But the big daddy, the Phantasm, he's gonna be the last one we gotta fight. And he's really tough. Get this item here. Repet my tribble and move on. Let's go straight across the room and deal with the ones over here first. Good. Five of six. This is the last one to deal with. Okay, let's go back over here.
Okay, now we got the last one, the boss fight, basically. Do not attempt to stop us. We hunger. We must feed. Leave immediately or I will amplify the time distortion and destroy this station. You will not survive. Hey, those things are hold, hold, are holed <laughs> up in the lounge, and they've got some of my customers in there with them. The door is bricaded. There's a few uh, hits. The phaser take care of that. Get my people out of there. Well, that's what I'm working on. Break the door down. All right, this phantasm sucks. He's exposed right now, which is a good thing. But he's going to be hard. I'm just going to keep firing at him literally until he's dead. I've hit him with all my buffs and debuffs I got, so that's all I can do right now. Got to wait for everything to cool down. Look at Colez trying to roundhouse kick him. Tr could try, I guess. Do another target optics. Just keep firing. I'm wearing him down. It's taking a little while, but he will fall eventually. Another grenade, a uh, torpedo. I mean, good tor. Had it right the first time. Grenade. Yes, phantasm down. Get rid of these portals. Colez is also down. Oops. And a new arrival just came through. And new arrival is gone. Accolade complete. Neural Nibble. Talk to Lieutenant Commander Scott. Look who it is. First McCoy and now Scotty. Thanks for the help, friend. What were those things? Spirit snuck up on me. I noticed a spike in trollic energy and was working to adjust the station shields to compensate. I went to fetch a hyperspanner and I was attacked. If you help me, I can finish my repairs before the trollic energy reaches lethal levels. By the way, you can call me Scotty. Cool. Scotty. I got it. I know who you are. <laughs> I haven't seen you around here before. Nope, you sure haven't. Yeah, it's a funny looking uniform. It's not funny looking. Just, uh, just as I suspected, the trialic energy is increasing. We'll be cooked like a haggis if we don't do something about it. There's a wee store on this station. The last who runs it, Cassidy, said they might be getting in a supply of the new Quantum Flux regulators, the Mark II versions. If we had one of those regulators, I could modify the flux coordinating sensors and use them to modulate the shields protecting the station. That would buy us some time. Go find Cassidy. She'll know where they are. Okay, now i got to get a Quantum Flux regulator from Cassidy. I've got a feeling she's not just going to hand it over. What were those things? They were floating, and then one looked at me, and I feel so weak, and then it lifted me up, and it was horrible. Are you looking for something from the store? A quantum what? I'm sorry, I'm just too scared right now to think about selling anything. I'm closing down until I get my wits about me. Maybe it would be best if I packed up and went back to Sherman's planet. What can I do to help? I don't know, maybe a nerve tonic would soothe me. Can you get one for me? Ah, oh, great. Now I gotta go find a nerve tonic for Cassidy. 
What do you, who do you think you are? First the lights go all strange and then these weird creatures show up and worst of all, you're here picking fights with my best customers. Uh, look at dear, brave, handsome Captain McQueen here. He could have been killed. You should be ashamed of yourself. Uh, about the nerve tonics. Nerve tonics? How can I think about nerve tonics when my sweet Captain McQueen is injured? If you want to know about the sort of exotic beverage, go ask Drunken Scotsman. I mean, Lieutenant Commander Scott. He knows more about alcohol than anyone I've ever met. While you do that, I'm going to make my sweet prince all better. Um, okay, I'm walking out of that one. And moving fast. Did you get the Quantum Flux Regulator? Uh, do you know about Nerve Tonics? Nerve Tonics? Ack, you don't look like you need one of those. Those wee beasties are troublesome, but they're not as bad as a ship full of angry Romulans. Now, I've been known to enjoy the occasional nip of Scotch whiskey. That's the only Nerve Tonic you'll ever need. Why do you need to know about them? Oh, for Cassidy. Now that makes sense. She's a, a bony, bonny lass, that Cassidy, and uh, more than willing to spend a little time with the right Starfleet officer, if you know what I mean, but she hasn't got the stomach for fighting. Is she all right? I'd hate for anything to have to happen to her. Glad to hear it. Sounds like she needs something to take a wee bit of the edge off, and that happens to be one of my specialties, along with transwarp transporter technology and warp field mechanics. Cassidy has been meeting me every evening in the bar for a spot for a spot of cheer, but I've never seen her order a nerve tonic. Perhaps if I told you what she likes, she'll be able to figure out the right mix. The bartender will help you. I'm not going to really go through all this because... Um, you can read all these different kinds of things here, but, you know, I'm not going to go through it. I know, I think I remember what she needs. So you're about to find out what the answer is. I said I think I remember. It's been a long time since I played the mission. I need a drink. Um, I think it's a hot drink. So I think it's sour. Um, a little pick me up in a stemmed glass with a drop of honey. I think that's it. Pick up the glass and let's take it to Cassidy and see. Got a nerve tonic. Let's see what happens. I think I got all that right. Do you have a drink for me? Try this. I love warm drinks. They're so relaxing. I'm glad you find the temperature pleasant. There's a lovely sour note to this drink. I feel so refreshed. I'm glad. I thought this would be right for you. There's just enough oomph to this drink to make it really stick with you. I like that. You look like you could use a little pick-me-up. I love the style of this glass. It accentuates the flavor of the ingredients. Aesthetics are important. The right glass makes the drink even better. Honey, ooh, that bit of sweetness is just perfect. It adds the most delightful note to each sip. I'm glad even the last drop of this drink is making you happy. Good, I got it right. Ah, that is marvelous. I'm feeling much better now, thank you. What tool is it you needed? A Quantum Flux Regulator Mark II? I have one of those right here. Please, take it as a thank you. Good. Now back to Scotty. There's a bunch of back and forth in this mission. Jumpy, 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 jumpy. Scotty! The right tool for the right job. I'll start making the adjustments, but I don't know if I've got enough time. You came through the law. You cannot change the laws of physics. The triolic energy levels keep rising, and sensors show that blasted comet is to blame. Modulating the shields is not going to be enough. Something needs to be done about the comet if we're, go if, if we're going to live to see the morning. And I'm about to do something. Captain, the station is safe for now, but we still need to deal with the comet. If the Davidians are able to harness its energy, then we'll need to will need to be able to pull most of this sector into their phase variants. Past, present, it will all be disrupted. Well, I'm about to destroy the comet, so there's that. There's that and all that. Okay, um, this is as close as the comet's trajectory. We'll take it to Drizana. We need to destroy the comet. Yes. Sir, a group of Klingon vessels have entered the system. They're hailing us. Ah, a ship from the house of Duras. I am Captain Bavat, son of Warat, and leader of my house. My brother died due to Duras' treachery. I will avenge his death with the destruction of a hundred Duras ships. Prepare to die. Well, that's just great. That ruins our day. Captain, we can't afford to change the course of events any more than we have altered already. And we know that Captain Bavat survives this day. We'll need to attempt to disable his forces. He'll be calling for reinforcements. 
We need to destroy the comet and return to our time before we're overwhelmed. Can I get this uh, gas first? I just want to pick up some gas. Is that all right? Okay, there we go. All right, let's go do this thing now. I know uh, these Klingons are going to cause a problem. But we'll do our best here. The idea here is just really keep firing at the comet. Don't worry about the Klingons. Even though they're going to destroy you a lot. So basically I'm ignoring the Klingons and I'm just trying to fire at the um, comet here. Now we gotta take out the little parts of it. We're going to blow up, but that's okay. We're gonna die, but that's all right. We will just come back and uh, do it again. That's okay, that's okay. We're gonna die again. We're gonna come back and uh, get the rest of the comets. That's just kind of how this mission goes. You could try to take out the Klingons, but I think more come. I'm not sure. It's just easier just to do the comet and not worry about the Klingons. Die a few times, you'll be alright. Not a big deal. There we go, now we can get out of here. Well, I say that, but we are being attacked right now, so... I can't really get out of here. Let's hit um, our evasive maneuvers. Well, I'm gonna die anyway. I can beam, or I can uh, warp out once I explode and respawn. Yeah, they're trying their best to get me. Might be able to get away from them. No, I don't think I'm going to be able to get away from all of them. They're coming. They're following me, actually. Come on, give me another evasive maneuvers. Okay, I'm out of range of most of them. Just one. One left. Oh, I'm going to blow up. <laughs> oh, maybe not. And can I get away? Can I get away? Yes, I can get away. I'm just going to wait for the red alert to go away. Then I can warp out. 
That did it. The remaining comet debris is too small to be of a threat. Now we just need to find a way to... One moment, sir. I'm detecting a temporal anomaly. It's forming inside the Moya. Rami Summers, if you are receiving this message, then you and your crew have completed your mission. Driffin's comet is destroyed and the Davidians are no longer a threat to the Federation. You've done well, and to prove that, I'm, I'm not the immortal monster that some make me out to be, I'm going to help you. When you last docked at Deep Space K7, I had some modifications done to your vessel. One of those is the addition of a Borg Temporal Node salvaged from a cube in the Batran Cluster. A cube in the Batran Cluster. It's set to return you to your time, to our time. Congratulations on a job, job well done, Drake out. That sneaky son of a gun snuck a Borg node on my ship. It's a wonder it didn't assimilate my ship. Excellent work. I knew I could count on you. The disappearance of Driffin's Comet in the 23rd century will be a scientific curiosity. I've taken steps to suppress information that might reveal our involvement, and I trust that you and your crew will refrain from telling stories about what happened here. After all, we're getting along so well. One thing I hope you'll take away from all of this is that any opinion you may have, have of the immortality of so-called rogue elements like Section 31 is a bit naive. Contrary to popular opinion among some Starfleet officers, we do not spend our days plotting evil and committing random acts of villainy like characters in a bad hollow novel. We protect the Federation from threats. Thanks to you, the Davidians are no longer on that list. If you think about it, everything we do is to preserve the Federation you so enjoy. You should be grateful. Drake, Drake out. So there's a little bit of moral ambigu ambiguity there. Some uh, gray area about Section 31. Obviously, sure, this was, I guess, a helpful thing to the Federation. It's still, you question their morality when they don't have any rules, when there's nothing to regulate and there's no rules and nobody even knows about you, the kind of things you can get away with are just mind-boggling. So Section 31, still in a gray area. All right. So we get to choose a Klingon Disruptor, a Federation Type 2, or a Type 3. Now, I recommend when you play this mission on your playthroughs to replay this mission to get the newest mark number, especially when you get to end level or level 60 of this game, to get the final mark version of this uh, of what weapon you want. Um, because the Federation Type 3 phaser, I think, is really cool. And of course, you can go with the Type 2 phaser. It's also cool. I'm going to go with the Type 3, and I'm going to show you why. I think it's a really, really nice weapon. I'm going to continue to use the Federation Type 3 phaser rifle. In fact, it's so good while leveling up, I may even replay the mission later on to upgrade it to the next level, to, uh, you know, Mark uh, 6 would be Commander level stuff, or Mark 8 for Captain level. Because this phaser is so good. I like it a lot. It's got a good first, it's got a good a fast primary fire, but then it has a secondary fire that's pretty powerful and will vaporize people. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. Awesome. So I am now 19. Holy crap, look how close we are to commander level. I mean, like literally this close. I, I mean, if I were playing this game without doing these videos, I would actually go right now and probably do like a deep space encounter or one of these, uh, yeah, one of these deep space encounters that you find in the system or something just to give me enough skill points to get over to the to uh, level 20 and upgrade all my stuff. Now, I'm not going to do that now because um, missioning will do that for us and there's really no need to rush leveling because believe you me, we're going to we're going to have enough um, we're going to have enough time to do that. So the next mission is called the Ultimate Klingon. I'm just actually going to play that mission uh, normally and uh, that'll take us to the next level. And then after that, I will do my big ship upgrade video and everything where we go in and do uh, a ship upgrade, character upgrade and all that. So I am going to just leave the level right now at 19 and I will play the next mission. That'll give us get us over the hump to Commander, and then I will do all that. So that's kind of how I'm going to play that out. Um, but for right now, just know that the Davidian storyline is over. We just finished it with Night of the Comet. And the next mission is going to resume the whole Klingon War thing. We're going to get back into the Klingon War storyline. Um, now this Federation Type 3 phaser... As you can see, um, you can see the stats there for a Mark IV level at our rank. I will add this to my thing. I'm going to take out the Synchronic Proton Distortion. 
it, it was a good weapon on the Davidians. It's not really a, the, a, a great weapon on, like, other things. Uh, although that's arguable or debatable or whatever. I mean, you, some people may find it useful. Uh, but I'm just going to keep it in my inventory uh, for right now and just uh, leave it there. If I ever need it, it is a quick, a quick uh, switch away. And the, uh, this is the phaser I'm going to use in the next mission, and I'll uh, reiterate that in the next video just to remind. But yeah, the Federation Type 3 phaser, that's going to be my main weapon uh, moving on from here. Playing basically every mission as we level up to 60, this is going to be my main weapon. And, I'm, and I may even replay, like I said, the mission again just to get the new mark level so that I can use the weapon. Because, um, yeah, awesome. All right, well... Thank you all for watching uh, I, the next one, the uh, Ultimate Klingon, so we'll do that. So thanks for watching, stay tuned for the next one.